You wouldn't catch me dead doing necromancy. They all droned on with their dronings. It was idle talk for idle men and women whose mindsets were so stuck in mud that they're practically petrified. Please, we all know the raw power that comes from harnessing the lightning bolt is best. The blue road mage stood up and performed what I'm sure he thought was an impressive parlor trick of prickly lightning. This was always how the annual Council of Greats went. Wizards, mages, and bumbling buffoons with bear-sized books all took to the mountain peak chambers like ants. Words of empty meaning and posturing so intense that it could freeze a drake was all that ever happened. That is until this year. I have finally finished my opus. They hate me, I hate them. It works. I usually avoid my pompous brothers and sisters who claim to seek glory and wisdom. It's a lie. We all know that every one of us seeks power. I was the only one smart enough to chase exactly that. Power. I enter with my usual eccentric look. My hair was a patchy white mess which I refused to cut by sheer principle of the razor sharp shearing industry being immoral. It's a plague in the working play but must be stopped. All the other mages insisted on their ridiculously coloured and decorated robes. My simple white robe infuriated them, especially considering it was smeared with all smatterings of smouldering holes and singed sides. Lords above, shouted one of the many fire mages when they caught sight of me entering. Who let the drunk ogre in? When in your company I wish such simple remedies would do the trick. Alas, it seems you all forced me into the companionship of Blister Rock. Everyone sneered at the comment, but it was true. I was higher than the highest giant's head on the highest of hilltops. And then some. Ugh. It was the most pompous of pompous people, Sir Angel the Divine. Strongest and most accomplished mage in all the lands. The only mage honoured enough to wear the colour gold. The advisor to five kingdoms. The presider of the event. The asshole. Why are you? I held up my hand to silence the dimwit. My name has changed since my last appearance. A sigh of exhaustion rippled through the chambers. They should really try Blister Rock. It doesn't allow such animal limitations to persist. My day from this forth is Atom. Atom? Yes, that's what I said. Um, okay, Atom. I'm going to ask again why you... Do you even know what an atom is? Do any of you bat-headed baboons know the basics of what I'm babbling about? Have any of you read the letters I've been sending back about my work? They all looked at me with tired eyes. Am I the only one doing real research or work in this whole damn place? I mean, come on. I knew you were all daft than damn driftwood, but this is just deplorable. Atom, Angel said, without acknowledging my wonderful speech. Please, we have a very important council to hold if... Important? <laughs> all you ever do is posh your pretty... Atom. The bastard cut me off. How rude. Please, make your point and leave. I huffed in anger, but moved on. Well, since you're all ignorant of the truth, let me give you all the rundown. I sat my heavy tome on the centre table. This, this is the Atominonicon, the book of nuclear magics. All other schools of Arcanium are simply combinations of trivial physical and magical processes. Or to put it in words you will understand, they are dreadfully useless and mostly child's play. A small roar of utter nonsense arose from the crowd of wizards. Shut up, I screeched, still thumping like a thundercat from my best rock glow up. Listen, nuclear magics tap into the real power of the universe. It is capable of such as a destruction and creation that I've never even got remotely close to its true potential. I honestly can't say for sure that it has one. This is nonsense! Peeped up one peck ahead for the peanut gallery. You're nonsense! Please. Angel put up a calming hand to the peck ahead. Atom, I must agree. We've known the power limitations of the other arcade arts for centuries. To claim a new one has been discovered? Something that hasn't happened in three entire ages, and that is limitless? It is indeed nonsense. I knew the princess would be jealous and tried to deny it. That's why I had a backup plan. Follow me, I said. I tried to sniff hard enough to pull out some residual dust of blister rock that was left in my nose. And I'm going to blow your fucking mind. Atom, let's follow your nuances. Nuance? I didn't feel like telling them I was dabbling in trying to create new words as well. That's for a whole other council on a whole other mountain top. We left the safety of the chambers and wandered outside into the snow of the mountain peak. Angel yelled from above the sound of howling wind. What are you about to do? Blow up a mountain. You didn't just say a mount. It was too late. I felt the tiny pellets of raw energy fill into my veins and buzz with infinity. 
Everyone was ignorant to what real power was. This. The power of the atom. This was real power. The power of the suns. The power that makes the universe tick. What makes the world churn. It's all around us. Limitless and asking to be used. So I was going to do more than just use it. I was the atom. I am the atom. With a simple push of my hand, I shattered a distant mountain into pure dust. An explosion mimicking the sun arose and burned our skin with its wonderful, world-erasing radiance. A plume of gorgeous black smoke rose and rolled with the rip tires of the Earth's currents, foretelling of a shockwave so fantastic that when he reached our mountain peak it shaved off all his snow like a child blown on a dandelion. I'm sure my compatriots were screaming in horror and fear, but I was too obsessed. As I watched the immortal mushroom of fire rise and reflect off of my mere mortal pupils, I was consumed by a laughter so manic and cackling that it even surprised me, and I'm a rather fucked up fella. The only words I could hear came from Angel, on the ground and covered in shock and dust. It was words that were like liquid honey to me. Adam, what have you done? I am become death, destroyer of worlds.